All right, good day, welcome. So this is going to be for Pisces, all right? Let's see what we have for a message for the Pisces Collective. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share. It helps with the YouTube algorithms, all right? Um, I'd appreciate it. So anyway, let's see what's going on with the Pisces out here. These are the decks that I was kind of drawn to, so. All right, for the Pisces. Geez, are you a healer too? Wouldn't be surprised. You're very intuitive. You're a water sign. Awakening. So this spring, you may have gone into an awakening. You might have kept it a secret. But yes, if you haven't gone through an awakening, uh, you will be going through awakening or you are going through, all right? Because everybody goes through things at different times, you know? It's not always at the same time, but it can be very similar, just down the road from another person. Containment. I feel like you're trying to, like, contain this awakening. Almost like I'm getting, like, trying to control it. I feel like it's, I'm also hearing it's getting hard to contain. All right. The Hex in Vanishing. I don't know if you're trying to, like, contain yourself from some type of Hex or what the hell's going on here. Let's get one more out for Pisces, please. I feel like your awakening is a very hot, bubbly mess, is what I'm really getting. Yeah, see, the egg wanted to come out. You're, you're going to be emerging here from <clears throat> your little egg, your cocoon, from this awakening. All right, so it's all about learning the rules and the laws of the universe. All right. There's the ethereal energy here. Trying to ignite your fire, trying to ignite your passion. All right, water can put fire out, right? But but water on top of fire can also create steam. All right. Let's see what's going on here with the Pisces. All right. Maybe you're, yeah, I feel like you're trying to do this awakening in secret and it's getting difficult to, like, keep to yourself. There you are, Pisces. I don't know why. I feel like you're really hiding what it is that you really want. I feel like you're not taking action when it comes to the things that you want in life. And maybe that's why this awakening is happening. We do have here the Knight of Wands. All right, the Knight of Wands, very impulsive energy. But it says take action when it comes to this awakening. So you could be ignoring it, trying to ignore it. You need to be fearless when it comes to this awakening. Because this awakening is going to take you on a beautiful new adventure that's going to be unbelievably fulfilling for you. And as a water sign, that's what you crave is emotional fulfillment because you're a water sign. All right, and that is your card, Pisces, Mr. Um, Mrs. Pisces. We do have masculine here with the Knight of Wands. All right. I did just get a glimpse of the tower, so I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's really shaking you up here. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Temperance, with the Star. Wow, and then we have the Six of Wands, so, and the King of Wands. I feel like this awakening is going to make you recognize something that you've been kind of pretending isn't there or hiding some sort could be your feelings we, because we do have that ten of cups showing up and then we do have the moon card and the star card always makes me think of you know kind of emotional energy because it's a healing beautiful rejuvenating energy so it has to do with collaborating or working together with yourself 
source or another person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. We do have a lot of fire showing up here with the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. It's working as a team. So maybe you're, this awakening is going to make you realize who you should be working with. Who is on your team? Who is your soul tribe? It could be an Aquarius too. And there you are, Pisces, once again with the moon. I feel like it's getting very exhausting. Uh, very tiresome. When it comes to just kind of hiding and keeping things a secret. I'm getting that you have the ability to um, find a middle path here. Um, if you are dealing with the fire sign, people say they can't mix, but we do then have at the bottom here, we have the fire with the passion with the summer card. So a lot of fiery, hot, warm energy. Um, but yes, you can. And it's saying that here with the star card to remain hopeful and optimistic here. All right. It makes me think of keeping an open mind. Not everybody is you know, not just one sign in their chart, all right? They're a mix of things. So <clears throat> if you are dealing with a fire sign, a Sagittarius to be exact, or an Aquarius, they could have water in their chart in very important placements. So I need to stress that in a lot of readings. You need to see the big picture like the King of Wands does. All right. You need to see that this is a very successful, very um, recognizable situation here. All right. You could have a lot of, you might be in the public eye. Your person could be in the public eye. But I just see a lot of victory and success here when you overcome this here. All right. Let's get a little here. Yeah, we got the strength card at the bottom. So it's going to take a lot of strength, I feel, for you to do this. All right. But you have the ability here to fix this, to find a middle path, a middle ground. You need to rejuvenate yourself. Do some healing work. Ooh. All right, let's get a couple cards for Pisces, please. <clears throat> so we got the mischief in play with the trick or treat. All right, so Halloween could have something to do with this. Reading Pisces. I don't know what that has to do with it, but trick or treating Halloween, that's got something to do with this reading for some reason. That's when fortune meets opportunity. But I'm also getting like mischief in play here that you guys have this playful mischievous energy maybe you and this person does or maybe it's just you that's like this or your person i don't know see it wants to come out fortune meets opportunity healing brings positive energy into your life got the wise scene with the wise action here all right so something's hidden here obviously but the light after the darkness is going to shine upon you. All right. With another owl here. And then we have the owl eyes in the background here. So we have three owls. Threes could be of significance. We have three fire cards. Three main cards here with the, these here. So threes are going to be of significance for you here, Pisces. But yeah, it's all about taking that, uh, that wise action once you see things in a wise light. All right. This is a very beautiful energy with the star and the temperance. A very angelic energy. All right. A very calming, peaceful, balanced energies. So I'm going to leave that there. All right. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.